Hello, I'm your host, Alex Freeberg, and this is the Alex the Analyst Show. Thank you so much for joining me today. I am bringing on my beautiful wife, Christine. Uh, I think I mentioned this in a post a while back that I was going to be bringing her on. I asked you to ask questions, and so she is actually here now. And so uh, I'm going to introduce her. We're going to ask a lot of questions that you guys asked, as well as some that I personally just want to know myself, because um, as much as I know my wife and we talk, I, there are still things that I don't know, and I wouldn't ask unless I had this opportunity or this platform to do so. So uh, with that being said, this is my wife, Christine. She's amazing. She's beautiful. I would like to introduce her to all of you. Um, and so would you mind telling them a little bit about yourself, your relation to me, yeah. your relationship to me, um, and then we'll start getting into the questions. Okay. Well, as he said, I'm Christine. I am his wife. <laughs> um, I have three beautiful children. Well, we have three beautiful children together. And I currently work in the home, as they say, um, and have had a corporate career in the past, but um, stay at home with the kids now. Wonderful. Fantastic. Um, so we're going to get started. We're, you know, this is basically just going to be us chatting us talking, asking questions. I'm hoping to learn something about myself. I'm sure you will give me some insight into me as a person. So this should be really interesting, not just for everyone watching, but for me as well. Um, so the first questions that we're gonna ask are the ones that were asked by a lot of you guys in the post that I made. Um, some really good ones. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, the very first one um, is, what is it like to live with a data analyst? Is it, I, I, cause I'm the data analyst, so I don't really know. So from your <laughs> perspective, uh, what's it like to live with a data analyst? Well, this is exciting. I like that you guys have asked questions. This is cool. Um, I mean, it's not all that different from any other career, really. I mean, I feel like, you know, I will say you're very thought through and logical, much more than I am. <laughs> <laughs> and so um, it's been really neat to just kind of see how you think through things um, because it's very, very different than how my mind works. Go I've, ahead. I've talked about that on the channel before. Oh, really? I've mentioned you <laughs> in the way that we think about and process Hopefully things. good things. Sure. Okay. Um, and so, yeah, so I would say because we're so different, and I'm sure we'll get into that a little bit. Um, it's, it's neat. I like being married to a data analyst because I get, um, a whole other way of thinking that doesn't happen with me. So like when we were first married, um, there were a lot of times that I would have to stop and go, huh, okay, well, I never thought about it like that. Um, and you would walk me through your way of thinking and how you were processing things. Um, and it was really, really helpful. It really was because it was just something that I just never really thought of. So um, and you research everything. Everything is researched, guys. Not a decision goes on without research behind it. So that has its pluses and negatives. I'm glad you admitted that. That the way I think is a good way to think. Yeah. Because sure. that never happens in the moment. It's typically <laughs> in, in retrospect, you saying, Alex, you're very, you're smart. Later it never on, happens in the later moment. On, yeah. Yeah. Um, all right. Let's move on to the next question. Um, there's are, there's are several questions of this in one. Um, so just kind of answer them as okay. best you can. You don't have to maybe not answer every single one exactly. Okay. Um, this one says, uh, we'd ask her how Alex became the analyst, how much time was invested, what was his target, what was the stress level during that transformation period, is a good data analyst a good partner as well, and how much of his hair did he lose in the process? The people want to know. <laughs> How much hair did I start with during the beginning? Yeah, of this? well, let's start with that because that's obviously the most interesting part of the question. Um, I fell in love with this head as is. That's true. So I was already bald. You were. <laughs> you were very handsome. Well, I thank mean, you. you're still handsome, baby. But I were. Um, when when I first met him, he had a shaved head. I mean, I think it's good to clarify that you have not lost your hair. You in fact shave your head. You For still grow. He still grows hair on this head. That's true. So you just shave it. It's a good distinction. Yeah. Um, and so, yeah. So when we first met, um, this is the head that I fell in love with. Um, so he didn't lose any of his hair being a data analyst, which I think is important to note. I don't think I would not say that it's that stressful of a career. It's not like um, other careers like politicians where you see they all go gray or they lose their hair or, you know, whatever. So 
Um, it's not like that. Um, so you got into the data analyst career field kind of happenstance. Have you, you've talked to them. In no, a- they know that. I think he was more asking how I became like the analyst online. Oh, oh, like, like Alex, the analyst online. I okay. think so. And if I'm misreading that um, question, I apologize. How did he say it? Um, how did he or become she- Alex, the analyst? How much time was invested? What was his target? Okay. I think that's pertaining specifically to the channel. Okay. Okay. Well, I, we'll, I'm just going to interpret that we'll, that way. Yeah, we'll do that. Um, so you, so Alex is a bit of a renaissance man. He, <laughs> he loves to dip his toes into everything. That's true. It's true. And I'm always joking about it at home. <laughs> like, what's next? Like, what are you going to do next? That's true. Um, and it's always like out from out of left field. Like it's never something that I would anticipate you being really interested in. Yeah. And so you'll like come you up with get, like what? Like give some examples because I, I so, sometimes I think they're completely normal things to, to well, a, to endure like astronomy or, and like looking at the stars. Sure, that's was, a good one. Was one of them, and I was like totally normal. <laughs> what? Okay. <laughs> like you had talked about, you wanted to buy a telescope. I still do. <laughs> <laughs> and then. Um, when you were like, I want to try photography. And I did do photography. And I was like, okay. I did I did a couple of weddings. And there was some sport you wanted to try. I forget what it was. Oh, gosh. What was it? Oh, uh, paddle boarding. It was paddle boarding. You wanted to try paddle boarding? Maybe. Anyways, we're getting sidetracked. We're getting very sidetracked. The point of it is um, it's not unusual for him to come to me and be like, hey, I want to try XYZ. And so I feel like I'm a pretty supportive person. You're so very supportive. Most of the time I'm like, all right, whatever. Like. Just try it. Go for it. So this was one of those ideas where he was already obviously a data analyst and was, you know, you were, you had your career and you were doing that really well. Um, and you wanted to start actually talking about watches. I remember. I, no, I did. I started a YouTube channel on watches. Yes. Yeah, I'm getting there. Oh. So, <laughs> so anyway, so you wanted to talk about watches. Yeah. And so you were like, I think, you know, instead of having like an Instagram account about it, I want to do like a video blog or like a YouTube thing or whatever. And I was like, okay, great. Go for it. So you did that and it was fairly successful and you were having a ton of fun. Loved it. And then you said, I really think like, I want to talk about data being a data analyst. And then it just became like a beast from there. Like it just started like growing and you started doing all of that. So to make a long story short, I think that's how this started Mm -hmm. um, was that it was just kind of one of your just random ideas that popped into your head that you really wanted to do. And we were like, all right, go for it. That's true. Um, What what else did he say? Um, How much time was invested and what was his target? And yeah, those are the really good. It was a lot of time. Well, not initially, but it it is a lot of time. Mm -hmm. Um, So and honestly, like I was just talking about this. You guys will learn later. I'm a therapist. So I was talking to a client about how to keep your relationship healthy and um, that kind of thing. And I was telling them, listen, you know, one of the important things is that you each have time to yourself, um, that you're not, especially right now with the pandemic, that Mm. you're not, you know, like interwoven 24 seven, you never get a break from each other. Mm. That's not healthy. And so, you know, at nighttime, I'll go up and read, I'll kind of de-stress, whatever, like just have time to myself, usually go to sleep um, because we've got littles. And then you're up. Kind of doing your thing. <laughs> we have a cat, guys. It's, it's, you can't see it, but it's right there. Um, doing your thing. And, um, you know, so there was like several hours where he'd be downstairs. I really didn't know what he was doing. I didn't really care. It was his time to do with whatever. Um, and so, you know, all that having said, you would spend probably two or three hours at least a night just kind of researching how to get it going um, what it would involve. I mean, mm-hmm. again, the research side of him. Um, and so, That's true. yeah. So you put in a lot of man hours at the beginning, mm-hmm. just basically figuring out like, what does this look like? like a strategy. Yeah. How, how am I going to make this happen? Right. Um, and I, and it worked for us. I was happy cause you were happy and we had our time apart. So yeah. <laughs> so spend time apart guys. Yeah. No, I mean, it really worked that way. Well, you know, people come because they want to know, people are watching this and this this episode is not going to be for everybody but people are watching this because they want to learn more about me but i think right there's going to be a takeaway from this well, which and is your processes well no the take the takeaway that i'm getting from this is oh. that they're they're walking away with some marriage advice as well <laughs> i don't i don't know that they care I about think, that i think i think they do <laughs> um 
All right, I think that one's good. Okay. For, uh, let me check our time because I'm just, I want to know where we're at. Okay, we're already at 10 minutes. So here's what I want to do. Okay. Let's try to keep these answers short. Gotcha. To the point so we can knock out as yes. many of them as we can. Again, I can go on and on. I'm a therapist. So that just... is so true. So um, I would like to know, if I wasn't a data analyst, what would be the best job for me? This one I'm curious mm. about because I think there's so many jobs. Yeah. No, not so many jobs for you. I'm just trying to think of like um, what fits best with your personality. You have a lot of interests, but I don't think you would be good in certain career fields that you're interested in. Um, I think. What does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> it just means I could see you. I mean, he was going to be a rec therapist when I first met him, um, but I could actually see you more something to do with communication like maybe a professor. Motivational um, speaker. I mean, I, I kind of, I could kind of see that. Yes. Well, a that's, life coach. I no, will say I, that is my goal in the future is to be yeah. oh, full time. Something I could definitely world. see you something in the like, in the like speaking engagements, <laughs> professor. That's I not could true. Listen, I could definitely see him as a professor, like a college professor. <laughs> like he was short and sweet. <laughs> Okay, I'll take, I'll Why take is that, that funny? Answer. That's I don't, yes. I don't think I could be a professor. Um, all right, this one I'm really interested in. It's what are you most impressed about your husband? What what about me impresses you the most? You or have what a, accomplishment? Yeah, you your drive and work ethic is amazing. Oh, thank you. Um, I mean, honestly, like if it weren't for your ability to just go to work, get the work done, like with mm. your full time job. You never complain. He never complains. Um, not, that's not true. I complain. Yes, it is. I just don't complain to you. Oh, well, I don't hear it. <laughs> so you never complain to me. And you are you work hard. You're yeah. a hard worker. Okay. And that means a lot to me. Like that stability and that, you know, uh, willingness to like go to work and like get it done for your family is everything. Sweet. Uh, yeah. And so I really appreciate that about you. I think that's a, a wonderful quality. Um, in an impress to get to the question impressing, um, is just, you love your family. Well, oh, you. I don't think a lot of your people probably know that. Oh, they know that you love your family. Well, Oh, they know <laughs> anyways, he's, <laughs> he's an excellent father, excellent husband, I mean, his priorities are right. You're just a great guy. Well, thank you. Yeah, I don't complain to you much. I have coworkers um, who much more closely understand the plight of being a da- uh, in the anal- in the uh, well data field. Yeah. And so uh, I don't come home to complain to you. I just go and talk to them. Okay. And, well, and so it's working, babe. It does it's work. It's working. It does work. Um, let's go on to this. Is one from um, Patreon subscriber, and he, uh, he says. Does Alex enjoy eating vegetables in real life? On his videos, he always goes on about vegetables like it's his favorite thing on earth. <laughs> um, I think that's more just your humor. He's yeah. a really funny guy. Um, they probably can see that in the videos, but also like in real life. That's one of the reasons I fell in love with him is he's just so dang funny. Um, but yeah, I think that's just the more humorous side of you. However, I will say he will eat anything I put in front of him. That's true. Like it could be awful. I, I don't think I'm a bad cook, but it could be awful and he would still eat it and be fine. So <laughs> he there's probably not a vegetable you won't eat. I've not ever seen you turn something down. So <laughs> I'll just say that. Okay. That yeah, yeah. You eat well, baby. I do eat I eat very well. Um and a lot of you don't know this, but I used to be trim and fit. And more, more so than this, mu- somewhat, believe, yeah, believe it or not, somewhat muscular. And <laughs> ever since I've married you, it's gone to the wayside. <laughs> I, I am, I am what I am. I've accepted it. <laughs> oh, babe. Um, okay. So those are all questions that people asked. Okay. I had a bunch of questions that I had personally, because, um, again, this is a once, a once in a lifetime opportunity for me to ask questions without, um, if you're married, you know, when you ask when you ask your wife a question or your spouse a question, uh, it can be awkward or, you know, you don't want to ask it for certain reasons. I This is an open platform and me ask whatever I want. Yeah. And so I will do that. Go for it. Because I want an honest answer and you don't have a choice because you have a camera on you. Right. That's right. So I can't um, lie. Some of these are more interesting than others to me. But um, do I talk too much about data analytics? 
Now, I know I talk about the, all these skills and I feel like I talk too much about it, but sometimes I can't control myself and I just keep talking about mm-hmm. it and keep asking you like, I keep talking, talking about these like technical things. I feel like I talk about it too much. What do you think? No. So short answer, no. Um, though I will say I do not have a technical mind. So if he, like, I want to know like high level stuff, <laughs> like he'll talk to me and I'll be like, all right, give me the, give me the points, like the bullet points. And then I don't care. So like, I don't want to know the details of it. So, so no, you don't talk too much about it. But if you do get into the details of mm-hmm. it, I will always say to you and stop. I've, yeah, and you see me do this where I'll be, I'll be like, I don't Alex, stop. I, I don't, don't understand it. I don't get that. Okay. And then I just, it's too much. Yeah. yeah. And you'll, and you won't go into it. For yeah. Me, so exactly. I feel like, um, especially when I'm learning a new skill, like I was, you know, maybe like a couple, six, maybe like a year ago, I started learning cloud platforms, starting in getting into Azure. And I kept, I kept coming back to her and I'd be like, I just learned how this cool new product. I'm like, inside of Azure. It's called Azure Data Factory. Let me tell you about how it works. And then I go into the details of it. And mm-hmm. and then I can tell you're just like glazed over. And then you literally just tell me like, Alex, I don't, this doesn't pertain to me. Yeah. And you're like, just stop. Yeah. In a, in a somewhat polite way yeah. sometimes. I think someone had asked if I was in the same field or maybe that was a question. Somebody I think someone asked. did ask that. It didn't, I didn't put it on here, but I think someone did ask yeah. if you were a data Clear, analyst as well. Clearly I am not. No, not even, no. not even close. Um, okay. Next question. Do I talk too much about my YouTube channel? No. Are you sure? It's a, listen, it's a passion of yours. So like he talks about it a proportionate amount of what I would think that somebody who's who really cares about what they're doing talks about. Like, you know, I mean, yeah. it's like any hobby. So like I love to cook. Um, I'm always talking to him about recipes. I'm always asking him if something tastes good. I'm always testing things and feeding him, feeding them to him. And I like so, that. Yeah. So like one could argue, oh, Christine, you're always talking about food point. all the time. It's like, no, it's one of my passions. I love it. That's a it. really so, good point. Yeah, so I don't look at it like, oh, here goes Alex again, talking about data analyst YouTube channel. I don't look at it like that. I look at yeah. it like it's a passion of his. Like, he cares about it. He has fun with it. And I want to support that. So That's really sweet. And I, it genuinely doesn't bother me when you talk about it all that much. So I don't see it that way. No. That's really sweet. I didn't know that. Mm-hmm. It's a good way to think about it. I like that because you're yeah. right. You do talk about food a lot. But I actually like that you talk about food because that's the food I get to eat. <laughs> yeah. So, Okay. Uh, someone kind of hinted on this a little bit. Um, what would I do? Let's say, but this question is a little different. It says, what car- and I want to know this, what career should I have later in life? So say I continue to be a data analyst. Maybe I make it high level. I'm talking C-suite executive. Right. You're riding that That's money right, train to the end. What should I do after that? What would be a good- Like, like in retirement? Not in retirement. I'm talking maybe like 50s, Six, let's say 50s, like like early 50s, I get out of the career. I'm like, look, I've made so much money. Mm-hmm. I'm so incredibly wealthy. We have three vacation homes. <laughs> okay. What, 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 I, and then I, I don't retire, but I want to keep engaged. What should I do after that? What should I do mm-hmm. after my career? My main career? I mean, I, that's a hard question for me because you have so many interests. In 30 years, who knows what I'll be I mean, into. for real. That's you, true. You, it's That's really hard for me to answer. Well, just, what would you What would you think from now? Not in 30 years. Like, what would you, yeah. what do you, what would you say right now? Um, I mean, I would say, gosh, I don't know. I mean, you're so happy doing your, your YouTube channel and it's like. It's not true. I'm miserable. So, you know, I mean, I, I genuinely think you would be continuing with this. Uh-huh. I could see you. For into, 30 years? I mean, some kind of platform. <laughs> I'll know? be the longest running YouTube channel <laughs> no. on YouTube. I mean, yeah, something something to do with this kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm not right. sure. That's a hard one for me, baby. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah, you didn't I know. I didn't, that I didn't give you what you wanted. Um, Next question, and I think I'm not going to actually answer this one. The next question I had written was, do you think this channel takes up too much of my time? You kind of already hinted on that. Yeah. That yeah, we talked about because that. Because I'm passionate about it, and it's kind of like a hobby to me. Um, it doesn't really take up too much of my time. No. Um, another question that was already answered is, what do you do for a living? Uh, actually, let's talk about that a little bit. What do you do for a living? Do you enjoy it? Do you wish you were like me and, and were in a data analyst, the, one of the best careers you can get, one of the most promising uh, <laughs> uh, careers that anyone out of college can make the most money? It's, it's just okay, an incredible well, job. Okay, well, yes. So I will say this. My career field, so I am a therapist by trade, uh, mental health therapy. I still, I still see clients, um, even though I work from home. I um, transitioned from an in-person office 
managerial role, took a step back from that, um, and am doing telehealth right now. Mm. And so um, I really like it. I've always liked it. I love my field. Um, and I will get back into it. I think once the kids are a little bit older, maybe school age, um, you know, I have dreams of, of doing lots of things with my degree again, but, um, and, and I've worked all kinds of different places. Like you can't even imagine like a prison and mental health hospitals. What the this cat is going heck? crazy. Um, it, children's homes, you know, you name it. I've worked there. Um, but I will say. I love my field and I would want to stick with my field. It does not pay. So <laughs> if you're looking, and this will be helpful for your viewers, if you're looking, um, you know, to get into a field that's lucrative, um, then definitely, you know, his is where it's at, not mine. Um, it's, but it is funny. We joke about it that when we first met, I was making much more than he was. So much more. Like significantly more. Like you were paying the, you were paying I was the paying bills. all the bills. Well, no, 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 not the bills. When we for first dating, you yeah. were picking up the tab for the meals yeah. because I couldn't afford it. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that's how I that's how I know that you <laughs> one are not a gold digger in the slightest. No. Two, you weren't making any. That you really liked me for my personality because yeah. that's really about all I had it uh, to my name was my personality. Yes. Well, you have a great personality. That's very sweet. So yeah. So um, his field is much more lucrative. Um, but I would hate it. I mean, just being frank, like that's, again, that's not how my mind works. Um, I am not good with numbers. I am horrible with math. It's true. I mean, it's a running joke in the house. So basic, I need to, basic math, basic, oh, basic math guys. Like yeah. send me back to like I, middle I, school. I, you keep, ta- keep talking. I'm going <laughs> to, I'm going to um, So, yeah. So, I mean, it's just, I think if you're looking for a lucrative field, if you're into data analytics, then for sure, for sure, it's a good field to get into. Fantastic. It's just not for me. Um, And that's okay because there are different fields for different people. That's true. And, you know, it takes all kinds. But what's what's interesting is when we, when I first met you, I was still on the path to being like a therapist. And that's how we kind of connected. Right. And then I realized that that field was not for me. Yeah. Well, actually, kind of funny story. Um, I'm not going to go onto a tangent, but I think this is kind of funny that, um, correct, when we first met, you were in that field in the same field as me. Right. Um, and so we were talking one night after we'd been kind of hanging out with some friends. Um, and we talked for quite some time, like two or three hours. And he was asking me lots and lots of questions about my career field mm-hmm. and like, what do you do? And do you like it? And like, just picking my brain. And I was like, I kind of get the vibe that this guy is into me, but he really seems like he just wants to know about my career. <laughs> so maybe he's just much more interested in like knowing about therapy <laughs> And we, so we just like left that night and I was like, huh, I guess my intuition was wrong. Because you thought I, I was hitting I have a really good intuition. Yeah. And I was like, but it seems like he's into me, but you didn't ask for my number. I didn't. I was, I was to, be, to be honest though, in, you guys may not know this, I am very introverted. I'm not an extrovert. So I can't, right. I don't, I wouldn't just walk up to you and ask your number. I would think of 10 other things to think about and talk to you about before I built up the courage to do that. Right. Um, and so that's not. That's not my, that's not, it's not, that's not my style. It's just not who I am. I can't, I can't just walk up to you and be like, you're pretty, um, can I have your number? I'm like, okay, what do we have in common? Let me, let me think about how I can, <laughs> how I can work this so that I can talk to you. Well, whatever, it worked out. Cause here we are it three kids out. later Yeah. on a YouTube channel. Yep. So that happened. Um, <laughs> all right. So this is a good one. Um, do you think that we'll stay married? For sure. Without a doubt. Why are you so confident? I just know it. It's like, you know, how you know stuff like in your bones. You just know it. It's just one of those things. I mean, like 10 years down the road, do you think things will be good, though, between us? Of course. Now, listen, marriage is hard. So, like, you know, there are ups and downs. But that's honest. we'll be married and we'll love each other. That's sweet. We'll have a wonderful family. That's sweet. Well, I kind of already answered that. Uh, this is a good one. And I think this might be one of our last questions. Um okay. What do you actually know about the work that I do? Like, what do you <laughs> this is, this do? Is a good one. Do you know what I do for a living, like at work, the kind of things mm-hmm. that I do? Okay, well, if you'd asked me that before the pandemic, when you were working at home, mm-hmm. I would have been like, I have no clue what my husband goes off and does all day. Like, he could be have like a whole second life, and I wouldn't know it because I just have no clue. Speaking of, I have a second family, three right. other children. Right, <laughs> but. But I will say now, you know, post pandemic, when you work at home, Mm -hmm. 
I have a little bit more of a clue into what you do because sure. I hear your meetings and right. you know um, that kind of thing. Right. Um, well, what do I do then? Yeah. So I would say <laughs> clearly you work with numbers. Okay. Um, In what capacity? What? How do I work right. with numbers? So there's a lot of healthcare involved. Correct. I work. Yeah. Very People good. in healthcare want to know the data behind who's getting procedures and what kind of procedures and like sure. that kind of thing. And sure. so you guys do, as I imagine, they're like, you know, the, the like person behind the curtain in Oz, like doing all the like number crunching. It's a terrible metaphor. <laughs> or, 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 <laughs> there's a terrible way to like Image. imagine it. That's not. <laughs> yeah. Like you guys are like behind there, like doing your number crunching and then sending it back. Sure. Out there. And then people use that information for all kinds of things. Uh, on a but, very, on a very, very small scale, that is accurate. Yeah. So I mean, you kind of, you you kind of understand a little bit about what I do. I I can tell. Yeah. You understand I work in healthcare. I work with numbers, <laughs> right, and I right. and I I take that information. I send it back to them in some way, shape, or form. Correct. Right. It's a lot of detail oriented stuff, though. Sure. I will say, and that's probably why I've like glossed over a lot of that. Yeah. Um. Because again, I don't care about the details of that, mm-hmm. but. I know that you guys work, well, you work within a team. Mm-hmm. Let's, you know, let's clarify that. You have a team that you work with um, and you guys work with a lot of detailed information, sure. lots of spreadsheets yeah. and uh, systems. Sure. Why not? System, all the systems. SQL. Yeah, you hey, know SQL. SQL. What's important about SQL? SQL is important. SQL is very important, guys. If I have gathered any information, it's that SQL is important. <laughs> You've watched some of my videos, haven't you? No, I don't watch any of your videos, babe. Are I've, you for real? I've watched like one or two, but I see you make them, so I don't need to watch them, honey. I legitimately have been telling people that you've watched my videos, so I thought you did. No, I've watched like one or two of them. <laughs> <laughs> I, I am hurt. I legitimately thought you watched... I listen to you make them, so I don't feel like... Because I know what you're saying. Okay. All right. Well... I've watched a couple of them. Well, um... <clears throat> Let's wrap it up there before my feelings oh, get, oh get too hurt. Um, we're at the very end. I'm looking at the time. I don't have much time. Okay. So what I want to say is you've been my, you're my first guest ever on the show. That's so exciting. Th- so thank you. Yeah. Um, thank you for joining me, for being willing to do this, putting yourself out there as the, the wife to this person that people watch online. <clears throat> Give a little bit more humanity to me instead of just that robot or that clone as one person wrote uh, in a comments and I, ouch so now i feel <clears throat> like they know me better and that's yeah. a good thing at the end of the I, I normally have a question of the week and i i, I didn't do that because i wanted to focus mostly on this at the end of each show though and i can't i can't um gloss over this part at the end of every show i choose um a keyword that they can comment below a vegetable could be a vegetable oh. could be a shape a place. Um, it has thus far only been vegetables. Okay. Um, and so I would like you to choose preferably a vegetable. It doesn't have to be. I mean, I feel like I should stick with that. You could. It has been in like seven episodes straight. Okay. A vegetable that they can type below to show that they watched all the way to here, and that they care about me as a person and as a human, not just as someone who can give them information um, and make their careers better, which I can. Um, but I, I have a life. I am a person and I, I have feelings as well. And I want them, the people who, who watch to this point, mm. it proves to me that those specific people care about me as a human and not just as someone to boost their career. Okay. So what, what should they comment below? Well, then I think this is good. I'll give them a little taste of uh, what we... We have like one minute. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you're about to go on a tangent. No, I'm not we are ra- We thing. are wrapping up. Okay. We have a garden in our yard. Correct. And we just recently grew a whole batch of... Carrots. Carrots. Good one. Good for your eyesight. Good for the channel. And um, that's going to, if you comment below carrots and also comment below the best thing that you liked about my having my wife on the channel, comment about uh, the most interesting thing you learned about me. I'm curious because, you know, maybe something that I found interesting was not interesting to you. Something you found interesting about me that, you know, my, the people who watch my videos have never seen. So, Thank you for watching. Thank you for joining me. You guys have been amazing, and I'll see you next week. Goodbye.